Hey there, it's Vicki Marie, Living Life. Ross goes right here, and uh, but we're heading over to do a Walmart pickup today. So, i uh, got my Yorkie shirt on. <laughs> and we're just going to go pick up our groceries, just with a Walmart pickup. Uh, I'm not going to chat with you on the way today, just because I'm actually on, having a conversation with a, a good friend of mine. And we're solving all the world's problems, you know. All right, guys. I'll check back in with you uh, in a little bit. Well, I've been here waiting for my groceries for an hour. And honestly... I mean, it worked out okay because I was talking to my friend on the phone for an hour, but I had twice they've come out and, and said, are you Hazel? Are you so-and-so? No. Ask me my name. I, I gave them my name. Oh, okay. Well, we're just running behind, but we'll get your groceries out to you in just a few minutes. So they knew I was here. And then I just called. I mean, I've been here. It's been an hour right now. So I just called the number and, and it's like no apology for me waiting for an hour, for one hour. I've been waiting for one hour. No apology, no, I'm really sorry, no explanation. Just what's your name? Okay, we'll have your groceries out in a few minutes. And I, um, I'm i really frustrated right now. So, I mean, I know they're busy, but what really kind of got to me is the car next to me pulled in after me and he's gone and I'm still here an hour later. I'm gonna leave the camera on. Hey. Uh, pick up for Vicky? Yes. I'm a vlogger, so I've just got my camera on here. Okay. Okay. But I, I waited an hour. And I, yeah. yeah. And you guys are always doing great service, but yeah. one hour for, to wait for my groceries is yeah. way too long. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, sorry about that. That's not your fault. But yeah. And I've had people come and ask me, what's your name? I, and so they knew I was here, uh -huh. but. All right, I'm sorry about that. I'll that's go ahead okay. and get this all loaded up for you. Okay, and just put it in the back seat because I have Goodwill stuff in the trunk. So okay, that's fine. Okay, all right, thanks. All right, we finally got our groceries. Got them back in the back seat there because I still have a trunk, or my back my back part is full of Goodwill stuff. Okay, I'm gonna back up here. There we go. Yeah, we're on our way to uh, McDonald's, so I decided I am going to run over and get Roscoe a little treat after sitting here in the car for an hour. He's earned it, but he was really good, and I didn't bring his leash, so if he wants to go potty or anything, then he's going to have to, I don't have a leash to his harness to put him on, so I won't be able to just let him out. Uh, I wouldn't let him near the parking lot without having his harness just in case he got excited and took off in front of traffic or something, so... But, um, yeah, so this guy, he was really nice. The, the, the kids here are working. I mean, I call them kids because everybody's younger than me these days. But um, they are so nice. I could have gone in and got those groceries and checked myself out. Uh, and the fact that I waited an hour isn't something to brag about. Nobody should, nobody should wait an hour for their grocery pickup. That says more about me and allowing myself to be not stand up for myself. So that's how I feel. Like I really should have, um, should have not have waited. But I was talking on the phone to my friend and we had a great conversation. And uh, I'm pretty sure we entertained the guy next to me too. He was sitting there in his car and then he rolled down his window and I had her on speaker here. And I told her, I said, I think he's listening to some of our conversation. He was sort of reacting to some things, but you know, we were talking about politics and religion you know two things you really can only talk about with a good friend these days so right we're gonna run over to Mickey D's and then I will check back in just pulled into McDonald's and the line is just crazy crazy long I mean it's like a double they have the two uh, the two ordering uh, kiosk and two lines of cars super long super long we're gonna see how long it takes it's 15 minutes after the hour ended up ordering myself a 10 piece chicken nuggets and then I uh, got two plain sundaes. One for Roscoe and one for me. He doesn't eat very much of his so we could share uh, but I'm not gonna, you know, I should have just brought another container. I don't know how to do that. So uh, so I got myself, I don't usually get ice cream and I thought now I'm, go I'm gonna get myself ice cream. So I just pulled up into my driveway. Roscoe is slurping his ice cream here. It's a good thing I cut his hair because it would be all in his face right now if I hadn't. Um, but yeah, it was 28 minutes after the hour when I pulled away from McDonald's. 13 minutes is all it took from the from the moment I pulled into the driveway at McDonald's to the time I was pulling out was 13 minutes. That was awesome service because they were so, so busy. All right, I'm gonna get my groceries unloaded and I'll check back in.
so I got some more of these uh, dinner sticks. These are the only other treat that Ro uh, Roscoe gets that is not a dream bone. And he gets one of these before he goes to bed. He's got great teeth. For uh, Yorkies are not known for their teeth, but he's got great teeth. Uh, by the way, he's 11 years old. Um, and so I got this as his favorite food, what he's eating right now. I got this and a whole bunch of individual ones because um, sometimes you can't get the big pack. And uh, I have to order individual. So anyway, stocked up on those. Nature recipe. And I got three uh, boxes of Kleenex because it is the season for allergies. So this bag, I just have some Oral Wheat Thins um, that I always get. Those, uh, These are Sandwich Thins, Oral Wheat. Yep. And I got some lettuce, the premium romaine salad bag lettuce. I got some market side blue cheese. Some Johnsonville Italian sausage, hot Italian sausage. Over here I have some Nature Valley granola peanut butter cup, or the granola cups. And some of these, I like these, the Nature Valley wafers. Some more mashed taters, the Instant Mashed Potatoes, Idaho, um, home style. And some chicken soup, a can of chicken soup, the home style. Uh, home style chicken noodle, uh, healthy request. And then I did get some of the whole grain Barilla penne pasta. And that's just another can of uh, the Campbell's soup. And I got two more of the um, Coffee Mate creamers, the sugar-free, the Italian sweet cream. The Holy Guacamole Spicy Minis. I think there are six in here. Two of these Boomerang class, uh, Chicken Classic Pot Pies are really, really good. We like these. Six Bananas. Uh, one of these dream bones, uh, you know, Roscoe loves his, um, these are the mini sticks wrapped. And this is the uh, one with real chicken and, yep, one of his dream bones. And last but not least, I'm just going to uh, show you guys these real quick. I got some more of these, the uh, hair, skin, and nail gummies. <clears throat> these are the Nature's Bounty. I, I like these. They're the, um, it has the biotin. And um, some of the vitamin three. These are just the nature's made, or uh, D3, not vitamin 3, D3. Some Huggies. These are the unscented natural care Huggies just to have the, just for the wipes because sometimes they come in handy. And uh, we, we always have those in the camper and we're starting to sort of stock up the camper for summer. So I, you know, still get hot, like I get hot at night um, being, you know, postmenopause, all of that jazz. I get hot. So, um, we're at that, you know, some nights we get really hot here. Some days it gets up to 80, 85, and then, and then sometimes it's, you know, the high might be 60, 70 right now. You guys know how it is this time of year. So when I get really, really hot at night, I can't sleep. So I have the fan going and all of that, but we don't have the air conditioner going yet. So here's what I do. I take one of these freezer packs, and this was like 94 cents. Um, I have another one of these I've been using, so I got a second one. So I get one of these, and I'm going to put this in the freezer, uh, get it nice and cold, and make sure it's flat like this so that when it freezes, it's nice and smooth. And then on a hot night when I have trouble sleeping, I take this thing out, I wrap it in a pillowcase, and I stick it right on my belly and lay on it, on my tummy. Or if I'm on my back, I just lay it on top of my belly. But I just put it on my stomach right there. And that really, really does the trick. I can sleep. Even if it's really hot, I will stay cool and sleep. It doesn't stay there all night. Once, you know, once I'm nice and cool, like it's just the first couple hours when we go to sleep sometimes, I will take it and just put it over on my nightstand. It's in the pillowcase. It's not going to have any condensation or anything. Um, and that really works for me, guys, so well. So uh, that's my little trick. Now, I also picked up some of these. I haven't tried these before, but they're the hot or cold gel bead pack. And so you can um, 
heat them or you can put them in the, the freezer, I think, have them cold. And I have never tried these. This actually honestly works perfect because I just put it in a pillowcase. Um, these are supposed to be soft and conform to your body. So, you know, like, especially if you hurt your knee, uh, you can put it on your knee. And, and so I thought, well, I'll get this. And this might be something I end up using too. It's very soft. Actually, that's very soft. Um, yeah, it's got this side and then this side, it's very soft. So I could see that, you know, if you put that on top of your knee or something, it would, it would be nice. It would, uh, conform. It would be really soft. And because it's got these little beads and all, um, I don't know, somehow that, that helps it to conform to your body, like your knee or wherever you're putting it, if you have an injury, but that's not why I got it. Um, there's only one in here. So this was almost $5. So it was $4 and some, or no, $5 and something. And I don't know if I got my money's worth on this deal, but I mean, this is 94 cents. This is almost six bucks. But I mean, maybe this will last longer to me. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was worth it, but I can put this in a pillowcase as well if I want to and um, and then put that right on my belly. So right there. All right. Well, that's my haul, y'all. I really wasn't expecting Walmart to be a bit of a disappointment today. I understand people get busy. I get that in, in behind, but I waited for one hour. It was really, really frustrating and they had plenty of opportunities to apologize and um, they didn't. No no horrible communication. Um, even when I called in uh, to, to tell them I'd been waiting for an hour, no apology, not at all. And so that was really, really disappointing because Walmart is usually, they've been really on the ball. That's going to be it today. I hope you're doing well. Take good care and I will see you on the next video. Bye.